welcome again in the PHP basic course. Today we get the part 7 about creating classes and objects. In the previous lesson we were discussing about boxes and the properties of the class called box in a, some kind of theoretical way. And today we will starting we will start coding in PHP. Uh, okay, so let's go to source code. This is our previous codes and we create new file uh, for the fun with uh, objects. Let's call it the file objects.php and come on, let's go. How to create a class in a PHP? To define a class and declare a class, you use a keyword class and then you give the name of the class. In this way, we will be designing the class box. And next part uh, to create uh, the class is to define the class properties. In PHP, this is not necessary to uh, define the properties, uh, but it's habit uh, so you need to give those properties using the var keyword and the name of the property like a simple uh, variable that you know from the previous lessons so the first property will be color the second property will be uh, length and the last one will be width Okay, semicolon at the end, and this is actually a definition of the class. If you save the code and run it, you need to go to new file object.php. Actually, nothing had happened. Why? Because this is only a declaration, like the declaration of a function. This is the declaration of the class. If you want to create an object using this class, you do the follows. First of all, you give a dollar sign, and then the next of the name of the object, like the name of the variable. Actually, this is a variable that holds the reference to the object. Uh, the variable could be simple variable, could be array, and could be a little object. In this way, we will be creating an object. To create an object, you use the word keyword new, and then you give the name of the class and the round brackets for the construction parameters. We do not create any constructor yet, so we build a default object based on the class box. Okay, so this is only a creation of new object. Some memory of the random access memory is being reserved from the object and those object is living now it has no properties no values because the php only knows that the box one is an object of class box how to add some properties to the uh, object you use the operator which looks like this it's a minus sign plus greater than and after this you give a property without the uh, dollar at the beginning and you can simply assign the first box was uh, blue so let's set the blue and you give a property value to the object box one the object box one is based on the class called box uh, the good habit is to, and this is some kind of unsigned rule of programming in object uh, way, is the classes has a capital at the beginning and the properties not. Uh, and we will hold that rule. Okay, let's give another property of the object box one. Let's set length uh, sorry that could be box one 
and let's see though there was a five I remember good yes and the okay box one and, and it's with if you do the var dump you will see the content of the object how it uh, is represented and how it's seen by the PHP uh, so I'm sorry we go back to the source code and give the echo and see the result okay so we know that we are handling with object called of the class box and it has three properties the first is color the second is land and the third is width with the values blue five and two this is integer integer and string okay so this is the way how to create a class with properties how to create an object based on the class using the default constructor how to assign some properties some uh, attributes values to the object and the var dump which is the built-in function of PHP how to uh, present the uh, content of the object because if you have an object and you don't know what is inside you could use a var dump it's a debugging function to see some results and it's used only for the bagging purposes. In the next lessons we will discuss those stuff. Further, we will learn about the methods, about the constructors and other stuff. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask and I hope see you in the next lessons. Thank you.